All right, so we're talking about action potential, threshold potential, and, and the sparkler here is a great example of how this works. So in order to get the action potential to fire, you have to reach the threshold potential first. In order to get the sparkler to light, there's a minimum temperature that I have to reach to get it to work. And it doesn't matter, I can get it hot, but it's still not hot enough to ignite it. It's getting hotter, we're not there yet. And the wind is actually hurting that. The wind is, is inhibiting that from happening. And until I get to that threshold, it's not going to light. Now, when I get to the threshold, hypothetically, there we go. fireworks oh. all right it's a lousy when I get to the threshold like that you get the fire and it, it's self-propagating it's gonna go from one end to the other and there's nothing that's gonna stop that like it's gonna burn all the way through it's a chain reaction. As it burns, it causes the fire, the sparkler to continue to burn, just like the action potential. Once you reach the threshold, you get that action potential, and it's going to be non-stop. The action potential is the same thing. It's all or none. It either burns or it doesn't. There's no in-between. You either get the action potential firing, and it goes down the axon, or you've got nothing. Another thing that's true about the action potential is the action potential is always excitatory. I can light another sparkler with this sparkler. That's excitatory, I can make another sparkler burn, but I can't put one out. I can't stop one of the other sparklers from burning with this. The action potential is the same thing. It's always excitatory. It's always going to make something else happen. You can't stop something from happening with an action potential. You can just trigger another reaction. The action potential is also non-decremental, which means it doesn't get any weaker. That fire doesn't get any weaker as it comes down to the end of the sparkler. It's the same at the beginning as it is at the end. So it's all or none. It's non-decremental. It's always excitatory. And while I can trigger more of them, putting these together doesn't make it any hotter. It's just more than one going at the same time. You can't add an action potential to an action potential. If you remember, with an action potential, we go up to like 35 millivolts. I can't put two action potentials together and get 70 millivolts. Just like putting these two sparklers together doesn't make it any hotter. It just gives me two flames. They're the same temperature. Putting them together doesn't make it hotter. It just gives you more. And the action potential is the same idea. Non-decremental can't be added together 